The well-tested and established philosophy in education globally is to catch them young and empower children with knowledge that will be useful to them in adult life. In Nigeria, the Lagos State Government has put into practice a version of this philosophy and it's called the Lagos Power Kids Program, an initiative of the state government as part of its wider energy sector development plan. The Lagos State Government's um, four cardinal focus is power, agriculture, um, transportation and housing. And you, from that you see that power takes number one. The Power Kids program is designed to be an interactive extracurricular club activity specifically aimed at students in Lagos State Junior Secondary Schools with the hope that learning about electricity and alternative forms of energy will play a part in the students' choices in senior secondary school. The major reason um, for the inspiration is that we realized quite early on, about two years ago, that a lot of people in, in Lagos and Nigeria don't really understand energy or power and it seemed like a topic we really wanted to demystify. As simple as your PACM bill, nobody really understands it. You know, they just take it for granted, this is what they pay prepaid meter, but we really wanted to educate the public. We thought the perfect way was to start with children. What you teach the young ones, that is what they grew up with. And so therefore, that is the essence of um, inculcating energy um, conservation in the youth. The program commenced last year and Power Kid Clubs ran for a 10-week period in the top 30 junior secondary schools in Lagos State that received the Governor's Education Award for Public Schools. 20 students from each of the 30 schools were selected on merit to be part of the pilot program. We are pleased to partner with the Lagos State Electricity Board on the Power Kids Club and also on the development of a world-class power academy. The 30 schools involved in, in the Power Kids Club are all recipients of the Lagos State Governor's Education Award. And I think this is a very noble way of getting schools to further strive for excellence. The emphasis of the Power Kids program is to transfer knowledge in a lively and interactive manner. To achieve this, Volunteer teachers, also provided by the Lagos ECHO project, were specially trained on fun ways of teaching the kids. We selected um, volunteer teachers from a pool of volunteer teachers um, supplied to us by the ECHO project. Um, and we felt that the best way to, um, to get lecturers for the program were to interview and put um, volunteer teachers through a rigorous selection process. So every week they come for training over here, basically just explaining to them how, about, how to go about the transmission and um, transmission the information from the lecture notes through an interactive way to get to the students whereby they learn and they actually enjoy learning it and practicing it as well. So what exactly are the Power Kids taught about? We designed a curriculum ranging from introducing them to what electricity and energy is about and relating that to their everyday lives. We also um, taught them about creating a simple circuit experiment which is powering a light bulb using a battery um, and what we found was that that actually gave them you know almost like a, a push in terms of doing their own standalone experiments which we actually are proud to say we, we've seen a number of experiments which we didn't even teach them and they've gone off to do on their own. We taught them about the different sources of energy, um, renewable versus non-renewable. Finally, we, we taught them about, I guess, the most important for our perspective at this stage, about electrical safety and hazards, making them aware of what is hazardous and what they should and shouldn't be doing around electricity. Besides learning about various sources of energy, the Power Kids also get to visit the solar farm at Lagos State Electricity Board's offices in Ikeja. The Power Kids program is not just about theory. The practical aspect of it is yielding results and the Power Kids are already showing innovative skills 
and desires to create and manufacture. Since I joined the Power Kids Club, I learned how to conserve my energy at home by using the energy saving bulb. I created a standing fan. I want to make an advanced standing fan. <laughs> I want to make my school and my parents very proud. Power Kids is a new society and I'm like one of the pioneers of Power Kids. The training has impacted a lot of things in my life. Before I never knew that you can power up a building with solar. I never knew you can power up with biomass. I never knew you can power up with hydropower. I never knew all those things until I've learnt it now in Power Kids, now I know. Now, anywhere I go, I can be proud to say that, yes, I've, this is what I have learnt. Fans, helicopters, one student has even gone as far as generating energy from potatoes to power a calculator. Our children, being what they are, when you teach them and they have the right resource people around them, their heart is open to receive. And therefore, it opens the creativity in every child. He knows that it goes beyond the academics, that they can now go into creativity, they can create things with their hands, they can reason, they can, you know, they can plan things and make it work. And that is what the program is all about, to broaden their heart, so that they can think further and bring out the thinking into the reality. With their newfound knowledge, the Power Kids now know more about energy efficiency, electrical hazards and safety, and can now calculate their energy consumption at home. The teachers and principals are not left out too. It's been great and it's been fun. It's not only helping the students alone. Even me as a person, I've, I've learned so many things, things that I never knew before. With the aid of the lecturing and all that, it has really given me a deeper knowledge and understanding about you know, energy conservation. The Power Kids program has really caught the attention of other students. Non-members of the club are eager to join and reap the benefits. They must, however, show excellence in their schoolwork. In the meantime, students in the Power Kids club are teaching fellow students what they have learned. The first time it came to the school, I, I love the way they brought them together, the way they taught them, the things they gave them and all that. So when my friends came to the class, I was like, ah, I really would love to join this club and all that. There's a general thirst and you know, there's a hunger to know more. And you know, the fact that we have these students who are not even part of the club, that want to be part of the club. So as much as it's, you know, we're rewarding those students who have actually you know, shown that they deserve it, we're also looking at how we can reach the students who are not selected and making them think that, okay, so I actually have to study hard now to be a part of this select 20. You know, and the fact that we've equipped them with you know, face caps and backpacks and you know, light ball pens, all the things that the other student wants. The Power Kids program has reached so many homes and students and for the organizers, this is one project that is not just fulfilling its goals, but opening up new avenues. They surpass all our expectations. We have kids that are coming up and you know, bringing their own experiments and they're challenging us as well. They're asking questions and now we have to go and read up to, to be able to answer them. We ask them to email, sometimes they write directly to me. So, you know, we've had that kind of one-to-one -one contact, not just with me, but with the whole of my team. I didn't think it would reach the, you know, that many people, but we have. Even the lecturers walking down the streets with their jerseys, they are stopped. Oh, what is this, your you know, power kids that you are putting on your back? You know, it's, and then by having those conversations with any member of society, you are, you are changing somebody's way of thinking. They're making people switch off their lights, you know, using their appliances for less. If they're not, you know, it's just simple habits that they're cultivating now, which will make a huge difference in terms of our energy use in the future. The Lagos State Electricity Board now has a dedicated website www.lagospowerkids.gov.ng where every child can visit and learn more about energy efficiency and conservation. The full curriculum is also on the website 
so interested schools, teachers and even parents can download and teach their children. I think to the education system, um, the value, um, I believe it's added, is that it's just allowed the kids to know they could be pushed to different boundaries that they, you know, they never understood, they never went to. You know, there's a lot of research involved. These kids have worked very hard over the 10 weeks and it's also encouraging that you can have a right balance of fun and learning. You know, it is a fun activity. I mean, the whole thing is games and fun first while you're still trying to teach them. In terms of the wider public, it's even, it's even more important because these kids have now gone into their communities and they've told their teachers, their, their, their homes about conserving energy. And then they, they're now even interested in possibly a career in the energy sector. And that's why we got them from the junior secondary school. So when they're going and deciding arts or sciences, they can, they can, they can make that decision knowing everything that is out there. Um, so, you know, I think I have a lot of faith that, you know, we're going to have like the next breed of, you know, energy sector expertise coming out from just programs like this. As the Power Kids graduate from the program with improved energy awareness and conservation consciousness, it is hoped that this initiative will continue as a reward for top performing schools to encourage students and contribute to Lagos State's blueprint for creating a sustainable energy-driven megacity of the future.